welcome back. So now we were almost there with setting up the Angular part. We've set up uh, most of the installation guide has been followed. We now have environment set up. We have the packages we need to kind of communicate with Firebase. But let's just add one more thing. I want to also add the modules that we need to start working with Firestore and Angular Fire uh, inside our setup right here. And now it seems the first step is going to be kind of setting up the Fire module, which is the overall communication with Firebase. And here you need to use that environment file we just created the last lesson. So we'll start by adding this module right here. And I need to go to the app module to kind of do that. Now, since Firebase is something that I'm going to use all over my code, I'm going to do it in this module right here. We could start fine graining this more, but let's just keep it simple for now. So we're going to initialize the app right here in the main module in Angular, which is the app module TS file. So let's jump to the code right here. Let's find that app module. It's under source app and uh, app module TS right here. And in here, I'm going to add a new import, which is going to be right below my routing module. It's going to be the Angular Fire module. Now that should be available. You might need to import it. If your if your ID doesn't do it automatically, you might need to import it. Let's just see if I can get this in here. Add import statement. Boom, I have the Angular Fire module. By the way, I'm, I'm pressing Alt key on the Mac. I think it's Control and then Enter. Um, I think it's also old actually on the Windows machine, but you can figure that out. And then I say add, add import statement. Very important you pick the one without the dot prod in the end. Just pick the one called environment, then automatically Angular will figure out on runtime. If you put in specific um, information options, it can actually pick between these two automatically. So you have to pick the top one right here. There we go. Now I have Firebase set up. Uh, with the Angular module right here. That was step one. Now, if I go back, I also want to add specifically Firestore because you have to remember Angular had a lot of things like security, um, storage, uh, database. So there's a lot you can pick from. So we need to specifically also explain that we want to use Firestore as our database. Let's just go back here and scroll further down. It seems we need another module called Angular Firestore. I'm going to skip the analytics module for now. We can add that later, as I said. So I'm just going to add the Firestore module. I'll put that in here as well. There we go and import it. Boom. There we go. So now we have these available, these imports, and uh, and they are also added right here. So now we're actually ready to use Firestore. Now, if you go back to the guide, you'll notice the next step will actually be start using uh, in the first component. We'll start using Firestore to communicate with the database. But let's wait with that until we get in Scrum wise to the step of adding the first test products right here and trying to show them on the landing page. So we'll wait with that part for now. So I feel that I'm done with this. I'll go in here and I'll add a bit more time. I'll add another couple of uh, hours, uh, sorry, minutes. And now I'm done. And notice I've added two different tasks right here, um, two different um, hour registration to my tasks. And this is done as well. So now the Angular is set up. The final one is the GitHub. Let's just add that right here as well. So I've installed and created a new GitHub project right here under ESV headdress along. You can go and grab that one as well if you want to. I'll add it in the description, of course. Uh, this is the link right here. Now I want to kind of initialize my new project here. So it seems that if I want to create a new repository, I can fire this command right here. I don't want to do that. I actually want to use an existing repository, which is the one I'm already working on right now. So if you go back to the code, this is an existing project. I'm inside the right folder. So let's just try and fire this command, git remote at, uh, and then the link you see right here. This is the command to kind of start pushing this code right here. So now I add the religion, uh, sorry, not the religion, the origin, <laughs> the origin, and then I can push all the code um, to this origin. Let's just try and do that. Now notice it probably won't push anything right now. You might need to log into a GitHub account, by the way, I probably already did. So um, it seems that I've pushed this new information. Let's do a git status just to see if things are up there now. Now notice it didn't add all these files that I got in there. So let's just do a git add to kind of add these files, add everything, git commit. And let's just do, um, I want to add everything. I want to add a message am. I can also do it like this, add a message. And I want to call the message just initial commit, initial commit. There we go, something like this. And then I'll do another push, git push. This time I don't need to put in all the information about, like we did the first time you had to put in all the information. Um, let me just show you, git push u origin master. You don't need to do that again now, you just need to do git push. And now we actually have all our code on GitHub. And let's just do a git status again, just to see that it, everything is fine. 
go back to my actual code up here and do a refresh. And there we go. Now it should all be up here and there we see here my, my first setup right here. Sweet. So that's it for this lesson. Now we actually have everything on GitHub. So let's just go to our Scrum task board and complete this one as well. We can give that half an hour. So let's just give it like 10 minutes. There we go. And uh, let's actually complete it because, well, I didn't spend that much time. Paste it over here and there we go. Now I'm done with the first assignment right here of uh, initial setup. That's the first backlog item. So that's it for this lesson. See you next time. We will start implementing our first feature. Have fun.